This is a first look at the InstiConnect 4G12 LTE mobile internet system. I received an InstiConnect 4G12 for testing and wanted to share with you my first look at this new device. And yes, this is a real speed test scan from my location in the desert of Arizona, 25 miles from the nearest town. Let's start with the components included in the package. The InstiConnect comes with a rooftop angel wing omnidirectional antenna, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi router with gigabit ports, category 12 4G LTE dual SIM modem, 15 foot USB 3.0 cable, 3 foot ethernet cable, AC power adapter, and a DC power cable for use with 12 volt connections. I also received the optional angel wing mount. For the initial setup of the InstiConnect system, you can follow the printed instructions included in the package, or you can access the same instructions from the InstiConnect website. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Let's walk through these steps together. The first step is to attach the Wi-Fi antennas to the back of the router, making sure to match the 2.4 and 5 GHz labels to the correct ports. Plug in your AC or DC power connection and wait for the device to power on. From a computer or mobile device, look for the InstiConnect setup in your Wi-Fi list. I was able to connect an Ethernet cable from my desktop to the LAN 1 port on the router to do the same thing. Open a browser and go to My Insti or use the IP address 192.168.11 to access the setup wizard. Make sure you use HTTP in front of those addresses. Create a password for your router. This is the password you will use to access the router and make changes to the configuration settings. Then it prompts to set the name and password for the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi connections. These are the Wi-Fi hotspots you'll use for various devices to connect to the Internet. Be aware that some older devices will only work with a 2.4 GHz connection. Once everything is set, it'll return to the dashboard and you're ready to connect the modem. The InstiConnect modem has two SIM slots and you can see the markings for one and two etched on the side. If you only have one SIM, then insert it into slot one. If you have two SIMs, you can insert the second into slot two at this time as well. I recommend you make sure any SIM card you use is already activated and test it with a cell phone before using it in the InstiConnect to avoid difficulty with this setup. I've seen many people spend hours trying to diagnose router or configuration issues only to find out their SIM is not active. Now take the modem module and insert it into the base of your angel wing antenna. Connect the antenna wires and USB cable and slide the feed in until it locks. If you have the optional mount, it will lock into the angel wing antenna and you can attach the mount to your roof or other location to get the best cell signal. The included USB cable is 15 feet long, but you can double it with a second cable if you want to maximize the distance. I misspoke in my previous video and said this was an Ethernet cable, but the InstiConnect uses a USB 3.0 cable instead, and it has a maximum 30-foot limit. Take the other end of the USB cable and plug it into the router. Now go back to the My Insti dashboard, and it should detect the SIM card in slot 1. Click to set up the new provider profile. Here you'll enter the name of your new SIM and select the carrier from the list. If your carrier is not listed, choose Other and enter the APN for the carrier. If you're not sure of the APN, you can search for it online or contact InstiConnect for help. Save those settings and the InstiConnect will reboot. Now you need to switch over to the 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz Wi-Fi network that you set up earlier. Connect to either one and open the My Insti dashboard in a browser again. Select Finish Wizard and remove Open Wi-Fi Network. This removes the temporary Wi-Fi connection that you use to set up things to this point. It's no longer needed since you created your own password protected Wi-Fi hotspots. Make sure to run the software update so you have the latest firmware installed. The InstiConnect will reboot after any update and you are set. If you inserted a second SIM in slot 2, take the extra step right now to configure it. On the dashboard, you should see a second SIM listed and can press the power button to switch InstiConnect over to it. Follow the same steps as before to create a provider profile for the second SIM. Save those settings and reboot. You only need to press the power button to switch between SIMs from that point forward. Now your InstiConnect system setup is complete and you should be ready to access the internet.
The InstiConnect software is based on the OpenWRT project, which is an open source operating system for embedded devices. The MyInsti dashboard is a quick view of the most common settings you'll use to manage your router and modem. At the top, you'll see your SIM card information, including the carrier name, signal strength indicators, the band and tower that you're using, and if you have a second SIM in slot 2, it will be shown as well. Here you can click on the power button to switch to that second SIM. You'll notice that the system automatically adjusts the bands and towers depending on the best signal, and it will aggregate up to three bands together to maximize your speed. One powerful feature of InstiConnect is it allows you to lock to an alternate band or tower even if it's farther away or has a lower signal strength. This can be useful if a closer tower is overloaded. It gives you better control over the connections. Below the SIM card settings is the router configuration menu. Here you can manage the current LTE SIM profile, set up your Wi-Fi settings, reboot the router and do software updates, but you can also go into the advanced config where you see all the OpenWRT settings behind the InstiConnect configuration screen. So if you need to dive deeper into the configuration, you can come into this screen to control things in much more detail. To return, just click on the InstiConnect icon up in the corner, and you're back at the menu. Below that, you can also do a speed test. And all of these same menu choices are available by going to My Insti on a mobile device as well. The most important question to answer is how fast is the InstiConnect system and how does it compare with other devices? I compared the InstiConnect with Angel Wing antenna to the MoFi 4500 with a ProxyCast antenna in two locations using both AT&T and T-Mobile. The first in Palm Springs close to town and the second in a remote location of the Arizona desert 25 miles from the nearest town. This best speed test result was achieved with the InstiConnect in the remote Arizona location using AT&T by locking onto an alternate tower with multiple band aggregation. Over three tests, it averaged 141 megabits per second download and 22 megabits per second upload. T-Mobile was not accessible from this location with either the InstiConnect or MoFi 4500. When you compare all the results from both locations, you can see that the InstiConnect consistently performed better than the MoFi 4500, often with double or triple the download speed. However, I want to emphasize that this improved performance was most often the result of carrier aggregation, and without it, the InstiConnect only slightly edged out the MoFi when locked to the same single band. That tells me you are generally going to get similar results when you have a good signal to a tower and only use one band regardless of the hardware. The InstiConnect has the advantage of aggregating up to three bands dynamically without spending time trying to configure and search for them like you do with the MoFi SIM4 model with two times carrier aggregation. The MoFi SIM7 model does not have carrier aggregation. Also, both the MoFi SIM4 and SIM7 will cap your speed at 100 megabits per second since the router has 100 megabit ports. Overall, the test results confirm you will experience better performance with the InstiConnect than other similar devices, like the MoFi 4500. It may be mostly due to the ease of aggregating multiple bands, and you may be able to tweak other devices to get close to the same performance, but it's still an impressive result given the ease of setup and use. As of the February 2021 posting of this video, the InstiConnect is still in pre-order and stock will be available for immediate delivery by early April 2021. Follow the link in the description of this video if you want to order the InstiConnect 4G12. An InstiConnect 5G20 model will be available by summer 2021. Also, MoFi has announced that they will have four different models of the 5G MoFi 5500 coming as early as May 2021. Make sure to check for my newer videos since I'll be covering both the InstiConnect and MoFi devices in coming months and we'll do side-by-side -side comparisons. If you decide to purchase the InstiConnect, I recommend you consider getting the optional mount unless you have a flagpole or other mount already. The Angel Wing antenna is made to attach to a 2 inch round mounting pole. You'll also want to consider getting an additional 15 foot USB cable if you need the extra length. Don't forget to check out my Amazon store for other technology related solutions I use and recommend. That link is in the description of this video as well. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.